Hi guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Got an interesting thing here. The owner of this uh, property here asked me, hey gee, this is my neighbor's garage. Can you fix this? I said, sure, we can fix it. He says, well, how are you going to fix it? I said, first we'll pressure wash it. We'll kind of like micro score it because the paint could have been here 30, 40 years and our product is only as good as what it's applied over. Then we'll put Weldcrete. It's a bonding agent. Uh, any bonding agent will work as long as it adheres stucco to a painted surface. So I got a question for you folks. Jay and I were looking at this and we were thinking, what the heck did they do? Usually, if they had brick or flagstone here, it would be scratched. Then they, they attach that and of course to pull that off, you'd destroy the wall. Uh, Jay come up with, uh, there's a bunch of roots here. Maybe they had bushes there. And I thought, probably they had a planter here. Anybody got any opinion of uh, why somebody would stop at this point, say 30, 40 years ago, maybe even 60, and just leave that? Mine was uh, bushes, or Jay was bushes, and I thought, man, I can't explain that one. Anyway, we're going to show you how to put this back together, guys. First thing you want to do is uh, skim it. After it's skimmed, I'll say like so. Let's see if I work my way in here. After I skim it, then we're going to allow that to set. Probably going to allow it to set about oh, uh, 40 minutes. We'll do the, you guys won't see that boring wait time, but get a tight, tight fit in here. Boom. After we get this coat on right here, I won't. Won't uh, do the entire wall, but I'll give you an idea of how to do it just in case you run across something very similar. I uh, notice with the bonding agent, we went about six inches above the actual work where we're going to do. Always want to go a little over rather than under because that can be painted out, guys. What we're going to show you is how we put this texture in here but Ben it's a cold day today I would say about well it's uh, 7 in the morning it's December I'd say the, the weather is about 45 so 45 minutes we have to allow this to dry if it was say 100 degrees I can do this and then put my texture in almost immediately. But again, we have to account for weather. A lot of you guys say, hey, Kurt, I tried to do what you did and can't do it. Well, guys, that's just time in. Time in, practice, season after season of getting used to what the weather conditions are and how they affect the drying of the stucco. Pretty necessary stuff. So, what I'm going to do is just hit out this little piece here. We are going to get busy and do some other stuff. Then I'll come back when this is set and show you how we do the texture, which is quite easy. All right, guys, change of plans. I'm going to show you how to do this texture. My dad's up on a roof working and can't come down, but this mud is ready. It's been about three hours. Why did it take so long for it to dry? We put it over a painted surface. We put a bonding agent, then we spread, and there's nowhere for that moisture to go. It's a real cold day, like he was saying, so it just takes a little while. Now to do this texture, you have to know, to match any texture, you gotta know what they did. What did this guy do? Well, he did different things on each part. Anyway, we're gonna match what we're closest to. What he did here, he used about half his trowel, he kept it real flat, and he pushed in hard so that he got these ridges, or slobbers, over here, you can see he used almost the whole trowel. There's not much texture here versus elsewhere. Anyway, to match it, what you do is you've got your stuff, it's kind of set. You push in hard with half the trowel and you're going kind of straight. Some of our textures, we do circles or half circles and whatnot. He didn't really do that. His are pretty straight. So you push in and really drag it and make those ridges. And then make them kind of straight and over. He started from the top and went down. I can tell that because he's got one here and then he got one here. So he did all the way at the top, 
came all the way down. So mine are going to start at the top and go down. And then he's got a couple in between his. So we just do like that. So then you just push in. Just like that. And you may get some slobbers or holidays. You can fix them after the fact. Anyway, you just let this set, paint it, you're good. This here, we're going to float, make that tie in a little nicer. But this is really just how do you match this texture? Big, flat strokes, push in hard, get these ridges. All right, guys, Jay's done with this. Thought we'd show it to you because we're hustling. We had to finish this whole edition. We don't always get to stop what we're doing, to focus on one thing. Anyhow, that's done. We're getting ready to get out of here. I thought I'd show you the uh, final result before we hit the road. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. As usual, we thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments. If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.